Welcome back with the fungal meningitis outbreak in the news lately. It's difficult to decipher the different types of meningitis and how serious each type is. I'm making a house call tonight. Mark Thompson from Thompson Pharmacy in Traverse City. Welcome back. Thank you. Very good to see you now. The one that's been, I guess, in the, the outbreak of meningitis is the fungal meningitis. Yes. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about this one. Although it is the most severe, yes, no? Yeah, it, well, bacterial can be very severe also. Fungal is usually severe. Um, bacterial seems to be the most likely to cause severe brain damage and or death. Um, fungal is really rare. Like they talk about the Midwest uh, where there's a lot of bat droppings, you can get it. Um, mm -hmm. Southwest, there's some stuff in the soil there, but really rare for, for uh, fungal. Okay, so it's rare. What about, is it contagious? Not contagious. The fungal, that's what differentiates it from the other two is um, it's not contagious. Um, particularly this one and it really this was specifically got into vials that were injected directly into people into their spine or a joint for to decrease inflammation so basically healthy people relatively healthy people are not as susceptible to it right and you wouldn't have gotten it unless you were exposed to this lot from this company so okay so now we're gonna move on to uh, bacterial meningitis yes yeah. Bacterial, this one you said is very dangerous. It, yeah, it can be very dangerous. Um, you want to seek treatment immediately, uh, you know, as soon as you start to see the symptoms. The trick is the symptoms are very like flu-like. Uh, fever, uh, headache, chills, that kind of thing. Um, what usually differentiates is the headache is real severe, uh, okay. real similar to migraines and you get photophobia or light sensitivity, even the TV or if you have all the lights in the house out and the TV's on it, you can't even look at it. And really? sometimes you get noise, like you don't even like hear the sound of your own voice. Um, so someone who doesn't usually <clears throat> get headaches, they have a migraine. I know a lot of, I notice a lot of the symptoms are similar between the three. Very, yeah, that's what makes it very difficult for physicians as well. And that's why you want to get treatment right away. Viral is very much more uh, common. It's very rarely is it life-threatening. Um, you can get dehydration from the nausea and vomiting, but... Um, but you, you need to get it figured out which one is which so they can treat you quickly with antibiotics if it is bacterial. Now what about um, this being contagious? This is something that you can, you have the virus in your body, but you may not. You, virus you can pass on because you can, just like cough and cold viruses, you can pass those on. Uh, same, the bacterial can be, that's why it's, bacterial meningitis we usually hear about at the beginning of the college year because yeah. there's so many people condensed in dormitories and they can pass it from one to the other. So. And this is entirely different. This was appears to be directly related to this facility making stuff. Mm -hmm. And apparently there was some fungus in the air that got into the vials, which stayed there. And then when put into people, it started to grow. Okay, so basically bacterial meningitis is serious and could be deadly. Um, there are vaccinations available for that. Yes, and there, that is very, I recommend that highly. Okay. Um, also get your flu vaccine, not related to meningitis, but, but still same get thing. it. <laughs> and then viral meningitis, less severe, and most people require, or excuse me, um, recover quickly. Yes, and it's usually you know, 24 to 48 hours, and, and your symptoms start to clear. And it's it's same thing as like a flu, fluids, uh, just symptomatic treatment. You can take Tylenol, ibuprofen, those kind of things. All right, and the fungal is rare. Rare, extremely don't, rare. Don't freak out yet. Yeah, there's only <laughs> still 300 cases. And it could be growing, but out of 14,000 vials of different medications, so still real rare, and 23 right. deaths and growing. But Thank you so much, Mark. Okay, thank you.